Hey, what's up everyone? So, E3 2018. This last week was E3. If you're into video games, you know what I'm talking about. Come on, it's E3. Electronic Gaming Conference, whatever it's called. And I just wanted to talk about the conference. I, you know, I know everyone's already talked about it and said their piece, but I'm a video game fan. I love video games. Play them whenever I can. And I just wanted to talk about some of the things I liked about this conference. So overall, I thought this conference, or this year's conference, was okay. Uh, I don't think there was a clear winner, because everyone always likes to say, Oh, Sony, Microsoft, or Nintendo is the winner for, you know, revealing a certain thing. I don't think there's a clear winner this year. They all had okay conferences. I don't think there was anything extremely spectacular. Uh, they each had at least maybe one game that someone was like, would get super excited for, but overall, not so much. And a lot of the games are either either come out for multiple systems or come out in 2019, which kind of lessens the excitement for those games. Like there's a lot of games I was just like, oh that game looks cool, 2019. Uh, well, it'll look cool when I play it next year sometime, which they'll probably show it in E3 again. But so let's talk about some of the things. Uh, Nintendo had a. I'm, I'm a big fan of Nintendo, if you guys don't know. So. I always look forward to their conference over the other ones. Like I like Sony and Microsoft, I have all those systems, but I'm a big Nintendo fan, I have been for a long time. If Sega still made systems, Sega would prob probably be my favorite, you know, entertainment system because I loved Sega more than Nintendo back in the day, but Sega just makes games down, which is fine, you know, it happens. But uh, Nintendo, their conference, they had a few things that I liked. Uh, they show Pokemon Go or Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which I talked about it before. You can check check it out in one of my prior videos. Um, I thought it was okay. Uh, they showed a little bit more about the game. Um, I am excited for it. It does look like it's going to be fun, but not much else is known. Uh, it's kind of like a fusion of Pokemon Go and the regular Pokemon games. It's like they're trying to get both fan bases together, which is kind of exciting. Uh, they really are. Uh, they talked about Fire Emblem. I wonder if I can find the trailer link really quick. So they talked about Fire Emblem, the new one for the Switch. And it's uh, called Fire Emblem, the, the Three Houses, I believe. Yeah, of course, I'm going to put up all their junk. So yeah, it, it's called Fire, em Fire Emblem Three Houses. It looks pretty good. It looks like it has some new mechanics in there, which make it uh, a new or somewhat different exciting game. I don't see the trailer anywhere. But anyway, it, it looks like a fun game. That's one of the things I was excited for. But like I was saying, now oh, here it is, the three houses. But I, as I was saying, um, it doesn't come out until 2019, which kind of dampened it. So it looks good as a Fire Emblem game. If you like those strategy games, it's fun. But it looks like you lead like your units with you and you can command them to do things. Which is pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, it will be pretty cool and interesting. Uh, you know, change up the formula. If you're going to a big new console, you might want to try something different and fun, which is good. Uh, one of the other games that uh, they release is Mario Party. I like Mario Party. I'm excited for this game, but I'm not overly excited. Uh, Mario Party is what it is. There's usually some fun games. Like it'll be fun. I don't know if I'll get it. It does look fun. I, this weird stuff where like they mess with the the switch, the undock switch, it is pretty cool. But I don't know if I'll ever do that. It, but it does look fun. From what I heard, there's online play, which is something that should be really fun playing against people online. That'd be fun playing with a uh, your group of friends versus another group of friends somewhere else around the country or world. That would be extremely fun. So I hope that's something that's capable of happening. This. Uh, Damien X Machina is another game I'm excited for. I don't really know much about it, but I love giant robots, so this game got my attention right away. Uh, I don't know if a lot of this is gameplay or just trailers, but it, it looks fun. It looks like you control a giant robot, which is going to have to be customizable, because why would you have a giant robot game without being able to customize things? But it looks fun. Uh, hopefully it's good. It has good mechanics. Because, like I said, I love giant robots, and I love the designs that they're going for. Of course, this game doesn't come until 2019. <laughs> Again, it's just like, ah, infuriating, coming 2019. So, But it looks like a fun game. 
Look at that. Just running around, destroying other giant robots, flying through the air. Oh, it looks a lot of fun. Kind of like Zone of the Enders. So hopefully it's a crazy fun game like Zone of the Enders, because I kind of missed that series. They stopped making it. But uh, obviously Nintendo's big thing, they announced a lot of games. Here's Fortnite, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, which I do want, Octopath Traveler. But the big thing was, of course, Smash Bros. Uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which I'm super excited for because I love that game. I love Smash Bros. I love the series. I have the game somewhere right here. Here we go. Super Smash Brothers. So I love the series. I have all the games. So I'm really excited for it. And this time they bring back all the fighters, which I love. Here, is this the thing? Where's the trailer of all the characters? Smash Bros. Ultimate, Part 2, Nintendo, Smash Bros. Ultimate... I don't know if this is the trailer or not. But yeah, they're bringing back all the characters, which is just amazing. And they have like a ton of levels, and here's Ridley, which people lost their minds over, because a lot of people were asking for Ridley. And they added Splatoon, so it's like they have, I think, over 65 characters right now. Because what they did was uh, some characters that are copy characters, they're calling Echo characters. Like Daisy's in the game, but she's just an Echo character or Peach, which is pretty cool. I hope they include a lot of Echo characters, because I think that's a good way to include a lot of new characters, like newish characters, without doing as much work as reinventing them. I like Zelda's new design from uh, League Between Worlds. So it's really cool. This was Nintendo's big presentation. Like Their presentation was an hour, and that was like half an hour with Smash Bros, and they just went over the entire thing. Completely loved it, completely lost my mind. Mind, it was fantastic. But that was pretty much Nintendo. Like I said, the, the thing, three things that excited me was Smash Bros, which isn't entirely a new game. It kinda is this your version of it, but I mean, come on, it's just all the Smash Bros smash into one. Fire Emblem, which doesn't come out in 2019. Um, the Mecha game, which also doesn't come out in 2019. So overall, their conference was okay. Like I said, it was pretty good. And then, um, Sony's conference, I hated their conference. It was garbage. I liked some of the games they showed, but their conference just, they did not set that thing up well. It started off with uh, some guy playing the banjo, and I was just like, what the hell is going on here? And he played it for like three, five minutes. I don't know. It seemed like forever. And then they showed, um, the, uh, no, The Last of Us 2, which looks fantastic. That's, uh, I can't wait to play that game. Yeah, The Last of Us 2, like, it's this nice, long <coughs> trailer, and it gets bloody and crazy, like, it's, I, 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 I want to play it, it just looks fun. Like, at first, I was just like, oh, you're just going to be stalking around, doing nothing, but man, when, her, her name's Ellie, when she gets to action, man, she just, shh, look at that, it's violent, and it's crazy, and I love it, I can't play, wait to play, but yeah, like, uh, like I said, um, they're, they, it started off real slow, and after they showed this trailer, they went to they showed a bunch of people just kind of talking, not really about games or new games, about old games, and it just kind of went on and on. Eventually, they showed um, what's that? New, it's a new samurai game. It looks pretty cool. I'm not overly excited for it. It looks good. Um, shoot, I cannot remember what it's called. Death Stranding was good. That's another one they showed. I still have no idea what that game is about but it looked it looked good um so caliber rage 2 dreams that are alive awesome the walking dead final season it's a new samurai game where is it yeah but it, it looks really fun resident evil 2 but it also comes up for the xbox resident evil 2 was one of the games they got really excited for when it showed it up and then later on I saw that it was also for Xbox, so I'm like, come on, Sony, you're showing a game that comes out for two systems. Same thing with Kingdom Hearts 3, it was awesome. They had a new trailer that showed off uh, the new part or the Pirates of the Caribbean world. <coughs> but again, it was something that the, uh, it comes out for Xbox as well. I think they also come out for PC, but I think that goes without saying most of the time. Anyway, here it is Ghost of Tsushima. Tsushimi? It, it looks really good. Um, they, they show a little bit of gameplay, and there's, it's kind of like a big trailer. It looks like a, a lot of fun. It looks graphically, it looks beautiful. If my computer wasn't being done, uh, here we go. And they did a lot of this when they're showing you the trailer. They 
they come out and they show these people talking. It's like, look, I don't watch the trailer. I don't watch you fucking talking. <coughs> but yeah, it looks, it looks gorgeous. And I like this. It gets bloody and violent. So that's one of the games Sony showed, or two of the games Sony showed. There's uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2, which um, looks fantastic, even though I think it's technically a, a prequel. I don't know if they have the trailer here. Oh, Spider-Man 4. This game looks fantastic. Like this trailer, he fights... Uh, is this gameplay? Is this... Oh, the, sh the floor demo. But they showed a trailer where the shocker. He's fighting like pretty much the Sinister Six. It looks fantastic. I, I'm gonna get the Spider-Man game. I love Spider-Man. Spider-Man! For uh, Microsoft, they showed off a, a few good games, but um, Halo Infinite. I'm a, I'm a big Halo fan. I love Halo. Halo Infinite is uh, the new trailer they showed for the next Halo game. I don't know if it's uh, Halo 6 or not, because Halo 5 was the last Halo, Halo game. It ended in a cliffhanger. I want to know what happens to Cortana and all the AI, Master Chief. <laughs> Like, they, they left it in a bad um, cliffhanger. But I don't know if this is Halo 6. <coughs> Excuse me. For some reason, I thought it was a Halo 1 remake, because it, it gives out that feeling. Because it has Master Chief and a bunch of people who crashed on... It looks like another another Halo ring. So, to me, it kind of looks like a new inter interpretation of uh, Halo 1. Because, look at this. I mean, of course, that's Halo. But they're on the Halo ring. You got the Warthog... So, Halo Infinite, what is it? Is it a complete remake of Halo 1? I don't know. I'm interested, I'm excited, but I, I, I guess we'll see. Um, that's most of the games. Devil May Cry 5 looks fantastic. I can't wait to play that. The Division 2 looks pretty good. I like the Division 1, but I didn't play it a lot. I kind of went out of it. They kind of messed that one up, so it wasn't too interesting. Another one that's uh, I like that I think, but, 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 that's the <laughs> uh, made is a it's a game called Skylink and it's not coming in. Um, is it called Skylink? Star Fox. And if you're still watching this, thanks for watching. <laughs> Starlink Battle of, of Atlas. Yeah, it is called Starlink. Oh, I'm not putting I'm putting Skylink. What the hell am I doing? Yeah, but it's this cool, like, um, spaceship shooter game. It looks okay. Uh, at first, I, I was interested, and then they showed it's a, it's a game with, like, a toys, figures, and I was just like, ah, no, nah, I'm not having that. But then they showed this part right here. Fox comes out of nowhere, and I was like, oh, Fox is in this game, and you get the R-Wing as one of the figures. They kind of got me on that. <laughs> So we'll see if I get this game. I'm still on the fence, but it looks fun. I kind of do want to try it out at least, and I would love to have that R-Wing, but I don't know if I want to spend the money. So it looks really, really fun. That's when I, And it comes out on all the systems, Switch, uh, PlayStation, Xbox, so that could be fun. And then um, the big one I, I want to talk about, or not big one, but what are the ones I'm sure a lot of people were excited for? Jump Force. So, Jump Force is a new shonen game. It's a cross between, I guess, Naruto, uh, One Piece, and Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball, which, you know, people love. What is this? I don't see this ad. Doom. There's a new Doom game coming. Whoa. They consist of both good. The good sunny. Oh, freeze the ship. I've already seen it, so it's not going to be too exciting, but it, it looks pretty good and interesting. It, it's it's pretty much just a fighting game, though. Like, they show a lot of fights. I like the American flag. What is it? It's Luffy Spider-Man now? <laughs> but it looks awesome. Look at this. I, 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 I kind of hope there was some kind of, like, warrior type game where you're, you could play as Luffy or some of the, the Straw Hats or, you know... Goku, some of the Z fighters, Naruto, and some of the other ninjas, um, the Leaf Ninja. That would have been awesome. But it, it looks like it's just a fighting game. But it looks like a good fighting game. But we've already had plenty of shonen fighting games, which is kind of the problem. That kind of, kind of the thing that annoyed me. But overall, overall, it looks fun. So I mean, that's pretty much E3 in a nutshell, or at least all the things that I liked or found interesting. I can go on and on and talk about a lot of these things. But like I said, a lot of people already talked about it. And I just wanted to mention it. It's E3. I usually talk about it. If you go in my past videos, I talk about E3. You know, once a year, usually with some of the other guys. But 
I just decided to go at it myself. I don't know if they're busy or not. But yeah, I just want to talk about some of the games, and that's pretty much it. I, there's some cool stuff. I've already pre-ordered some games. I know people are always like, don't pre-order games. I mean, I'm going to get Smash Bros. I know that for a fact, and it's going to be a good game, so of course I'm going to pre-order it. And I'll get out of here with your, don't pre-order it. Shh, crazy. But yeah, I can understand if people don't pre-order some games. But like I said, a lot of these games come out in 2019, or or for, t you know, like Sony's like, hey, look at this. Resident Evil 2 and Kingdom Hearts is just like, okay, Sony, why are you showing this in your presentation when Xbox also has these games and they're also on PC? Crazy. <coughs> but yeah, overall, I think uh, Smash is the game I'm most excited for because it comes out in December, and I'm, like I said, I'm a big Smash fan, so I'm really looking forward to that game. Can't wait to play it. I hope they announce a few more characters. Um, it's going to be really fun. Play it online, play with friends. It's just going to be a good time, so I'm excited for that game. Excited for a, rest, a lot of these games, but like I said, they come out in 2019, so whatever. Uh, Jump Force looks fun. I don't know if I'll get it. It, it looks good, but um, I think I'm good with my quote on uh, fighting games. We'll see, though. You know, when we get more information and stuff on it, we'll see if it's good or not. But I, I guess that's it. What do you guys think of E3 this year? Did you think Nintendo, Sony, or Microsoft won, and one of them had a better presentation? Or did you think they were just all okay? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you in the next one. Hey, if you like this video, we have several other awesome videos you can check out. And again, thanks for watching.